In this video, let's understand about the stack data structure. The stack data structure is a sequential collection of elements that follows the principle of last in, first out, LIFO for short. This means the last element inserted into the stack is the first element to be removed. A common analogy is a stack of plates. The last plate placed on top of the stack is also the first plate removed from the stack. Last in, first out. Now stack is an abstract data type. It is defined by its behavior rather than being a mathematical model. So a stack is simply a list and what makes it a stack is how it behaves. The stack data structure supports two main operations. Push, which adds an element to the collection, and pop, which removes the most recently added element from the collection. Here is a simple visualization of the stack data structure. Insert at the top and remove from the top as well. Last in, first out. Pause for a minute and make sure you understand this well. Let's now understand a few examples of when a stack is helpful. Typically, a stack is great when you have to trace back your steps. For example, browser history tracking. The go back and go forward buttons in a browser make use of a stack data structure. Another example is the undo operation when typing. There are also more technical applications like expression conversions such as infix to postfix and the most important of them all, the call stack which is used in JavaScript runtime. As you can see, stacks find their application in some pretty important use cases. All right, now that we know what a stack is and where it is used, in the next video, let's implement the stack data structure in JavaScript.